Hey guys, I am Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about logic building tools. This is part one. Now programming languages are used to provide instructions to computers and these instructions are given to tell the computer how to solve a problem. But for that we need two things, language to explain what to do and logic to explain how to do. Now language depends on the programming language we use but logic it remains the same. So we know programming languages are used to give instructions and with the help of instructions we can ask computer to perform any specific task but while instructing we need a language as well as a logic for solving the problem. Now the language depends on the type of programming language we are using but the logic to solve that specific problem will always remains the same. And I always insist to focus on logic because in case if you are having a strong logic you can learn any language and write code for it. Now definitely we know logic means an idea to solve a problem and there can be different ideas to solve the same problem. But the idea should be clear. So before you start writing the code for your program, you should be clear about the logic what you are going to use. We have various tools to build logic like algorithm, flowchart, pseudocode and I know you might have heard about two of them. We are going to see only two of them over here which are algorithm and flowchart. Though we will mainly focus on flowchart as it's the easiest way to show the logic of any problem. Now what is an algorithm? The step by step description of solving the problem in normal English language or in your own language is an algorithm. Every algorithm starts with start the algorithm and ends with end the algorithm statements. So these two statements are fixed in all the algorithms. Now these statements tells the starting and ending point of an algorithm and algorithms can solve simple to complex level of problems. Though an algorithm solving complex problems looks complex as well and that's why I said we will mainly focus on flowcharts. But let's see how an algorithm looks like. So for example uh, if we have to write an algorithm to withdraw money from an ATM the algorithm will look something like this. Start the algorithm, take an ATM card and go to a nearby ATM, insert the ATM in the slot, choose your language, choose the type of bank account, choose withdraw option when asked, enter the amount to withdraw, enter the ATM pin, collect ATM card and cash and stop the algorithm. Now definitely the order of the steps might differ according to the ATM machine but the overall logic to solve this specific problem will remain the same. And that's how we write an algorithm for any specific problem. So that marks the end of this video. See you soon in the next video. Till then, thank you and take care.